And good evening. Welcome to a basketball Friday night. 13 high school games throughout Mid-Missouri will begin at Fulton High, home of the Hornets, who welcomed one of the hottest teams in the area, the Helias Crusaders, winners of six straight. Dion Hughes made the ESPN Sports Center's top 10 plays this week with a three-quarter court shot. He let Josh Smith do the shooting tonight. Takes over long range. These are a couple of three-pointers in the first half. Fulton lost to Elias by 32 about 10 days ago, but not tonight. Nick Seelinger, strong effort on the follow here. Great ball movement by the Hornets in the first half. Seelinger with 16 points. Fulton led by one at the break, 23-22 as the band plays. But a 7-0 run to start the second half put Elias on top. Hale Henches leading the way with 13. Crusaders win it 49-38. Elias is 11-4. That is seven straight. St. James Tournament semifinal night. What a game. Blair Oaks battling Sullivan for a spot in tomorrow night's championship. Kyle Disler, the early three for the Falcons. One of seven trays in the first half. Ben Cooper adding three more for the Falcons as Blair Oaks would lead at 31-25. Watch the break later. Kellen Brondell will finish this one strong with the jam. Brondell also hit a shot to send it to overtime. Austin Kemker hit another shot for Blair Oaks to send it to a second overtime. Blair Oaks wins it at two OTs, 95-85, Kemker with 22. So Blair Oaks will move on to the title game against Mark Miller's Rolla Bulldogs. As we go to those highlights, Jay Zolas with a three-point play for Rolla Bulldogs trailing by five at the half, but Rolla turns it on in the second. They go on to win it 64-53 over Salem. So it's Blair Oaks and Rolla tomorrow night in the St. James title game. High school hoops in Eldon tonight. The Mustangs playing Scott Floyd and the Pirates from Boonville. Eldon Sam Lincoln with the nice stroke. The long two off the rag. Cleet Thermos assist. Boonville's holding Hinkle underneath with the layup. Eldon up by one after three. They go on to win it. A close one, 61 to 55. Jimmy Lincoln and friends victorious. In Kingdom City, the North Callaway Thunderbirds. Their fans thought it was a football Friday night. T-Birds taking flight against the Eagles from Southern Boone. Trey Lacey drives baseline for the visiting Southern Boone Eagles. North Callaway hanging tough though early. Justin Murphy, three is good. Southern Boone takes a 41 to 30 lead at the half. Look at Lacey in the paint for two. His dad, Pat, athletic director and assistant coach likes that. He'll like this one even more. Nick Carlos, the stuff. Carlos, 31, Trey had 24. Southern Boone wins at 80 to 49. The Eagles are 12 and two, four and zero oh in Mid-Missouri Conference play. Court warming in Hallsville tonight. The hometown Indians welcoming Harrisburg. Last night, the Harrisburg girls won this matchup. What a great crowd. Quick start for the host Indians. Jonathan Null drops in the three. Hallsville up by five. Harrisburg answering on the other end. Ethan Banger, nifty spin move in the lane. Gets the shot to fall. They would play 48 minutes and then some tonight. Hallsville's Brendan Beatty left open in the corner. He hits the three. A double overtime battle here tonight. The Indians celebrate court warming with a thrilling 85-82 win over Harrisburg. How about we head on to Eugene. Craig Engelbrecht and the Eagles hosting the Indians from School of the Osage. Eugene's Garrett Haslock from three. Meanwhile, Tyler Kempker a big night. He had 22. So did Cody Shaw, both ending with double deuces. Eagles win a high scoring game 81 to 65 the final. The first annual Rockbridge Girls Invitational continuing tonight. One of the best matchups in the state. Third ranked Lady Bruins taking on number seven Incarnate Word. Lindsay Cunningham drains the three ball for the bridge. Incarnate Word though up by four at the half. Lady Bruins rally back in the second. Cunningham long feet ahead to Bree Porter. Pretty play that would tie the game at 26. Later in the third Cunningham off the inbounds pass. Hits the tough shot. Draws the foul. That puts Rockbridge on top. Lady Bruins win it 46 to 39. Earlier at the Rockbridge Invitational, the Jefferson City Lady Jays facing Shawnee Mission South from the Kansas side of Kansas City. Sadie Theroff drives baseline, misses, but Nafisa Collier there to rebound and put back. Lady Jays go inside again. Shelby Mustaine off the glass for two. Jeff City up by five and a half. Two of the smartest guys I know in the house. Dave Fox, Mike McGurk. 
close throughout the second half. Collier dribbles through the defense. She would score, draws the foul. What a huge night for the freshman. 32 points, including two free throws with 3.7 seconds left. JC wins it by two, 56 to 54. Back to Fulton High, our River Region Credit Union Team of the Week, the Helias Lady Crusaders facing Fulton. Olivia Hackman, look at this jump shot for Helias. That is money. Olivia had 14. Emma Versloys with a dozen for the Lady Crusaders. That is sweet. Now about Taylor Hagenoff, three of her 16. Helias improves to 11 and five with a 55-30 win over Fulton. Other girls scores. California wins by two over Boonville, 64-62. Ellie Miller, 27 points, eight three-pointers. Jamestown over Calvary. Boys action tonight. Lynn beats New Bloomfield. It was Shamoy downing New Haven. Herman over Owensville. Douglas is now 3-0. They beat Russellville and Jamestown with a Chad Cook game-winning buzzer. Beats Calvary Lutheran 40-38. Sturgeon over Brunswick tonight. The Iberia Tournament finishes up tomorrow night. A surprise championship game. Bell and St. Elizabeth, the five and seven seats making it to the finals. That's why you play the games. Consolation game tonight. The host Iberia Rangers taking on Crocker. Iberia with the steal. Darren Dickey, the basket. He had 11 first quarter points as Iberia takes the lead. Isaac Minnick, seven in the first. Two more and draws the foul here. Again, the Iberia Tournament finishes up tomorrow. Let's go to California High where the Pintos took the court against the Tigers from Versailles. California's Adam Berger buries the shot from beyond the arc. Tigers, Trevor Many gets the loose ball, takes it all the way to the basket, lays it in. Pintos too much tonight. Philip Longman gets the steal. He will take it down for the two-handed jam. California wins at 55-42. Jaden Barr leading all scores with 18. Court warming in Tipton, where Billy Jeffries and the Cardinals welcomed Windsor. Tipton's Ethan Keckner, the steal, and he will take it all the way. This was a good night for the Redbirds. Ethan Keckner, the assist to Chaz Raymond, puts it in. Tipton, 80 to 40 over Windsor. Wade Wood led the way with 17. A happy homecoming for the Cardinals. And we're always looking for good teamwork. Our Pizza Hut delivery of the night for the top pass. Let's go back to Rockbridge High in Columbia. Here it is, Lindsey Cunningham long to Bree Porter. Nice teamwork, our Pizza Hut delivery of the night. And our Hilke's Ice, cool shot of the night. This one comes from the Helias Fulton game. New team photographer at Elias High School. First night using that camera. Who is it? That's Chris Henches, the former Elias football coach. He probably won't make Sports Center, but he did make the Hilkey's Ice cool shot of the night. Way to go, Chris. College basketball's marquee matchup this weekend. The fifth ranked Missouri Tigers are in Waco, Texas to battle Baylor. The Bears are number three. Both teams are 17 and 1. 1 p.m. tip off tomorrow on ESPN. Also Gary Filbert Classic at Mexico High School. Four games beginning at 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. That's it for a basketball Friday night. Tony Mullen has all the weekend highlights. Watch him and watch us. Thanks for watching tonight. Have a great weekend. Basketball Friday night is brought to you by Mark's Mobile Glass, Midwest Block and Brick, Beck Motors, DNK Collision, Hilke's Ice, and Legends Bank.